What's up? Back with another video tonight. Uh, as promised, I said I would make a uh, top 10 favorite sports games. Didn't take me long to write off this list. Wrote in about 5 minutes, basically. <laughs> Alright, first we'll start with number 10. I played this one on the PS2. Most of these are going to be for the PlayStation 2, because PlayStation 2 and the Xbox pretty much made awesome sport games, because of the graphics, basically. MLB 2000, oh, no, sorry. It's actually for the original PlayStation, one of the first baseball games I ever played. MLB 2001 for the PlayStation. This game was fun, but there was a couple things I didn't like about it. Uh, the franchise mode sucked. After the season was over, it was over. There was no continued on season. Uh, this was unheard of in video games anyways. Uh, most sport games at the time really didn't have a carryover season because they weren't popular. I guess, so to say. This was not a very high seller. This was a game made by 99 Sports. Uh, their first huge baseball game is what I'll have to say. Number 9 was a game made by... I, You know, it reminds... I think it's made by 2K. Uh, it's a baseball game. It is for the GameCube. Most people remember it on the GameCube. It was made on the Dreamcast. I think PlayStation 2 had it, and maybe Xbox. I'm not really sure. I don't think Xbox was out yet when this game came out. Well, yeah they were because it was on the GameCube. Whatever. It's called Home Run King. This game was awesome. Uh, it took... It had a very interesting style of gameplay where the fact that you had to take the cursor and kind of follow the pitch. Uh, when I went on when I went on vacation when I was probably in seventh grade there was a uh, arcade in the hotel. They had the game Home Run King which at the time was a couple of years old already so it was very weird to see this machine uh, basically we had tournaments and it was a game that basically I was really good at uh, but I would play three inning games just against my friends or even against the computer on the expert level and I was still scoring like 45 runs and it is a very hard game to start out with so this isn't an easy game until you get the hang of it uh, Number eight on my list, the only EA Sports game that's going to get on here, and that's uh, Mad 99. First Mad I played, it was on the N64, and it was an awesome game because it it was just basically, like I said, it, it, they didn't put a lot of effort in this game, and it proved that you didn't need to put effort in this game. It was uh, just a simple game that you can just sit down and play. Uh, didn't require a lot of thinking, no excess amount of work involved in it. Had a continue on season mode. Uh, you could play it, you could play it until the next year. Base football game came out. I think it was the first game to have a continued on season, and it did very well. Uh, sucks though because the year, the very next year when Madden 2000 came out, Madden 99 trade-in value was 25 cents. So it shows you from $60 it went to $0.25. Because N64 games at the time were $60. Number 7 would be NFL Blitz 99, the first one. It was just called Blitz 99. And it was awesome game because it was never, this has never been done before, you got to remember. And it had awesome graphics. Uh, the arcade game was even better if you ever seen it at the arcades. They have they have it at a place near me called Fun World. Awesome game. Uh, it was cool because you got to beat John Elway. The one thing I didn't like about it is no continued on season mode. Then number six would be NFL Extreme. This was this one directly competed against NFL Blitz, and I think was a better game than NFL Blitz. It was made by who else? Ninety Nine Sports. Uh, they make the best. They make the best sport games. Them and 2K are tied in my book. Uh, was a really good game. Uh, this was a, players could get struck by lightning in this one. It was, but the weird thing was it was five on five football. So I mean, it was different. Then they released a sequel, which was the only sequel they made. This was also for the PlayStation. All these games so far I've mentioned. NFL Extreme 2, which was a little better because it had 
updated rosters, obviously, and I enjoyed it because it added a little bit more, uh, you got a little bit more time after the play to hit guys and then trash talking in it. It was, it was a fun game. Uh, you could change the options where you had three plays to score a touchdown, which made very interesting games. Then, number four, and this is when the games start getting good. NFL 2K3. Ugh, first, first football game I really, really got into. Uh, I had a franchise mode. This was when I first started becoming a 2K mark, I guess, for sports. Uh, if you've never played this one, this is probably 2K5 Junior. Awesome game. I can't even, I would need a whole nother video just to describe how good this one was, or how well it was put together. And the best thing is, I picked it up at five dollars. Number three would be the first, one of the first games made on the PlayStation 2 for baseball, MLB 2005. This one was awesome because graphics were awesome, the pitching, the pitch counts were, the, the players looked like they were supposed to, the wind-ups were good, they had an awesome franchise mode, or itch. And then comes into number two, which is the game I have, one of the only ones in this top ten list I have, and that's MLB 2007 The Show. Awesome game. Uh, I know I've been saying that for all these ten, but this one steals the show when it comes, this one was well done, they put a lot of effort in this game. Uh, the only thing is, the one thing I really have to gripe with 99 Sports is you got to have a minor league system. In all your games, you have no minor league system. And that's one thing about, uh, what was it, Acclaim Sports was really good with. All-Star Baseball had uh, their franchise, which was another good one, had, and I, they don't crack my top ten either, had a minor league system. They had up the rosters were really close to updated, and they released their games before 99 Sports would release theirs. This is no excuse for it. EA Sports was really good about that, too. It's one thing I have to say. They were really good about their minor league system. You could play as a minor league team. Uh, you did... Correction, they did have a minor league system on 07 the show, but the rosters weren't updated, or close to being accurate. Ryan Bronx not on the game unless you up, it, download it from the internet. Number one, obviously, NFL 2K5. I've said this many times, favorite sport game, awesome game. Only reason I do not own it right now is because I had to take a break from it because I played it for three or four years straight. That's how good this game is. Uh, it took me four years to kind of stop playing it for a while. That right there like I said, if you bought NFL 2K5 now, but never played it before, uh, it would take a little while to get used to it, but once when you get used to it, you'll get hooked. Because you are attached to your, your team, at least your franchise. You can control what the players can do. Something that man fails to do. And its main thing is what I come on here to tell you guys, is you got to stay away from this crap. Madden, basically. They're just making money off of off of their name, Madden, EA Sports, it's garbage. Uh, NFL 2K5, awesome game, probably the, in my mind, the best sport game ever made. It had ESPN, prime time, it had, it, and it was a game that was for $20 retail. You can pick this game up at CD Max or something for like 5 bucks. I'm out. So, basically, all I have to say is, you guys, thanks for listening to my top 10. If I bored you, oh well.